guys, John here from LMB Fishing Club. Coming to you today to share with you a little tweak we've made to our boat. Uh, we found a piece of equipment that came from Tractor Marine when they sold us the boat trailer. Did a real nice job for what it was intended to do, but became cumbersome at time and thought there must be a better way to do it without spending a fortune. What the heck am I talking about? Let's take a look and see. We're talking about the transom tie-down straps. What was provided by Track Marine is very functional. They very firmly do, when properly installed, hold your boat to the trailer so it doesn't bounce around when you're driving. You guys know how these things work. Pull on the strap which loosens it up to get the tension off. Then you unhook the boat and the trailer and you take the two straps, one from each side, and stow them somewhere until you return from your trip. When you return from your day of fishing, you have to put the hook in the lower end, hook in the upper end, Part of the problem with these is you have to address the, adjust the tension on the strap so it holds everything in place. If you don't get it tight so it's loose like this, it can fall off when you're going down the road. Nobody's going to let that happen. And when you tighten up the strap so it doesn't get loose to fall off, the lever may not always come down like you would like. It may struggle, it may fight you. We found a much better way for just a few dollars that will replace these and get the job done. Let's take a look at what we're talking about. What we found to replace those lever style tie down straps is a pair of retractable straps from Bass Pro shown here. You get the two ratchet straps and a bolt to bolt the strap to the boat. The pair runs $60. You will also need the boat buckle kit to attach them to the boat. For this you get the two brackets and two bolts which secure the brackets to the trailer. To install this you need two wrenches, a 5 8 and an 11 16 for this hardware. Takes just a few minutes. Once in place Releasing your boat for launch, tying it down afterwards, is just a matter of seconds. And you don't have to handle those straps. So next we're going to go into the actual install process to show you how easy it is. Okay, so let's get started with the install process. First we get the original strap out of the way. The bolt that comes with the retractable strap you would insert through the back like so. Now here's the key. You place it on the short arm. Notice the bracket is eh, kind of a stretched out U. The short arm of this bracket goes to the bolt, the retractable strap. The long arm is going to go to the trailer. So what I'm doing is getting the buckle attached to 
the bracket, but it's it's a loose, okay? It's not tight because there is an adjustment that needs to be made when we put it on. Next, we're going to attach the bolt to the long arm of the bracket. Through the back side of the long arm and then through the attach point on the trailer. Again, we're going to snug the nut up, but not tight. Why not tight? Because there are some adjustments that need to be made. There are alignment things that need to be met, okay? If you take a look at, say the bracket's down like so, let me give you a better view of what's going on here. You will see the bolt, the retractable strap, when you pull it out, is coming out this way, and the tie-down point is way back here. You need to align the pair of the bracket and the retractable strap such that it's in line with the opening. If you bring the bracket all the way up like so, again, it's not in a straight line. There is a place where you will find that I booked it on. You will notice there's a place here where it's virtually in a straight line coming out of the, the boat buckle. And this is where you want the bracket to go. Once you have the bracket adjusted so that the pitch is lined up, then you want to tighten down the bolt on the trailer, because that is the first of the alignment. Okay? So now, the in and out or pitch is lined up with the trailer. And you get the bracket bolts tight. Now I'm going to bring you around back to the front. Now we need to align the retractable strap left and right so that it comes in line with the tie down once you have that lined up then you get the second bolt tight which is not hard again it's the same two wrenches. You hold the head of the bolt in place while you tighten it up with the back wrench on the nut. And it's done. So, as you can see, we're lined up, grasp and squeeze on the handle, and pull up, you're tied down. So when you want to release the boat from the trailer for launch, you just push the red lever, which releases tension, the buckles retract out of the way and you're ready to launch. You get back to the dock 
hook it on. You're done. Saves you time in both directions. And you don't have to remember where you put the straps because they're always attached to the boat. Very quickly here I will do the other side. Okay, we're on the other side. Once again, you use the release the tension. Take the strap off. Put it out of the way because you're done with it for now. The bolt goes through the back side of the retractable through the hole like so and connects to the short arm of the bracket washer lock washer nut and run it down finger tight is enough because you've got to be able to adjust for positioning. Okay. The other bolt goes to the long arm and to the trailer. Finger tight is enough. So again, the, you first adjust the bracket for the pitch, meaning the angle of the retractable coming strap coming out. Obviously, this is not the right place. If you bring it all the way up, that's not right either. You need to get it, put the strap in, and then adjust the bracket until it appears to be coming virtually straight out, which is right about here. That looks pretty good to me. So now we will tighten this down to secure the pitch. Okay. Now we have to hit the left and right and that looks pretty good to me right there. So I get the, nut, the 5 8 onto the head of the nut or the bolt Excuse me. And then I get the open end 11 sixteenths to tighten it down. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. And once again, tight. So, to launch the boat, push on the red levers, which releases tension. The spring winds it up. It's out of your way. You're ready to go. You bring the boat back in, you're out of the water. You just lift it up, hook it in. And you're ready to go. So that's how simple it is. You can install it in under 10 minutes easily. Only takes two wrenches. And gives you a couple extra minutes, one way or the other, for fishing, which is what this is all about. I'm going to share a little tip with you, something that I found out one day. I was fishing without my partner. He had to work. So I retrieved the boat 
by rope onto the trailer, which was just fine. And once I had pulled the boat out of the water, I went around to check and found out the trailer was off to one side. It had not come up true onto the trailer. So how do we fix that when you're by yourself? Well, what I did was put the hooks on both sides, backed it into the water enough so that the trailer floated up, and the tension on the row on the retractable was enough to bring it back center so that when I pulled it out of the water it was lined up. I'm not going to say it works every time, but it helps. Hope this has been helpful. Again, this is John at LMB Fishing Club, and I will be doing other videos in the future on things that might be helpful to tweak your boat, and make it a little more personal, and a little more fun. Tight lines, everybody.